hi guys welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how i make hbc jollof rice stay tuned here are the ingredients we are going to be using today i have here two and a half kilo of drumstick chicken because my children like drumstick chicken very well then i have two kilo of rice vegetable oil we are going to be using curry as well this is the tomatoes we are going to be using and i also have here concentrated tomatoes my own is in tube here some are in can but i have the one in tube i have salt to taste nutmeg then thyme magin cube i have also here um, garlic because it's very important to the health as well fresh pepper onions and butter that's what we are going to be using today okay yeah i'm washing the chicken now you need to wash the chicken very well you have to wash it properly before you start cooking then uh, I'm now put water I'm going to put one liter of water to cook this um, chicken and that is the water we are going to use throughout for the cooking of the jollof rice. Add one liter of water. While the meat is on the fire now, after washing, I will be chopping in. I will chopping these onions for the seasoning of the chicken when slicing the onions you have to be very careful not to enjoy the nails especially when you have a very sharp knife like this one i'm using so you have to be careful slice properly that's it i'm going to add it to the chicken for the seasoning and I add two cube of maggi salt to taste two spoon of table salt and I add thyme Adding time for the seasoning, then I will also add. You know, I told you I like adding the garlic to my cooking, so I'm just going to cut one of the add one to it. That's it. After which, I'm going to cover it so that you cook. you cook it for 20 to 25 minutes, then it will be well cooked. Anyway, that depends on your on the gas you are using or the cooker. So, okay. While the meat is still cooking on the, on the fire, I have to cut onions that we are going to use i'm going to blend these onions that i will be using for the jollof this is the fresh pepper and i'm going to be adding just 50 ml of water to blend 
pepper and onions. So guys, I've been cooking this chicken lamb with maximum heat for 25 minutes. So I just have to put it aside so that I can start the preparation of the stew. We are going to use this pot. Get a dry pot without water inside. So when you put it on the fire, just have add the like 100 ml the oil don't put too much oil if not it will be too much because in the water that water we use in boiling the chicken remember please don't throw it away because it's very important we are going to be using it for the cooking of the jollof because there are also some oil in there you know we are going to be adding butter as well so by the time you put too much vegetable oil it will become too oily anyway down below later i'm still going to drop the measurements of the ingredients every other thing so that you will get the accurate taste after which and Two tablespoons of salt, then this one onions. I chop it off the camera, so I just cut one onion here. I'm going to add two cube of mangan. Remember, I was having a, a tube concentrated tomatoes. This is a 200 gram of concentrated tomatoes. So you have, I will add it to it because we are going to steam it for about five minutes or so. to add two teaspoon of uh, curry I'm going to cover it so that it will steam for five minutes before we start before I start to add other ingredients like the like the tomatoes we are going to use. So that's it. Okay. Now the three tomatoes are not that I have to steam for five minutes now. So it is ready. So I cannot add the other ingredients. Now I'm going to be adding to tomatoes. I have 800 grams of tomatoes here. So you can increase it or reduce it. Depends on the amount of rice you are preparing. So I will add the tomatoes. You have to stir it. So I have to also leave it to cook for five minutes. Okay, five minutes have passed. So I'll be adding the onion and the fresh pepper I grind earlier. And I get some water from the 
chicken, boiled chicken water. So rinse. I'm going to leave it again for another five minutes with maximum heat. I've removed the chicken from the water. Chicken we bought before. And now I'm going to be drilling this water and filter it inside this stew so that the particle of the onion and the other seasoning will not go inside this stew. So I have to sit to drill it. And use any type of filter. You see, if you don't filter it, all these seasoning particles like onion and others will go right inside the stew. So to avoid that, you have to filter the water to use in boiling the meats. So now we are going to leave it for another 10 minutes. While it's cooking, I will start the washing of the rice now. So that before about 10 minutes, the rice will be ready to go in. So, I will wash the rice now. I have to wash the rice properly. When washing it, see the water becomes clean. Then you know the rice is ready for cooking. To wash it to the to rice properly, properly. You see, the water is somehow making. You continue washing till the water becomes bright. When the rice is clean, you will know yourself. already so I'm going to add the rice inside the stew now let me treat the water out now we are going to be adding the nuts make sometimes it's in a full or like this if you have this type you can just scrape it in in your food and that's all but now i'm going to be using the grinded one i have the grinded one and I'm adding three grams of it. That's it. Stir again. I'm going to cover all this rice now so that the stew will boil out before I will now have to reduce the heat. Now the stew is boiling. I will now use the, I'm not going to use the wet paper to cover it. Okay. I'm going to cover the rice up now so that 
if we make so that by the time we reduce the heat this one will make the rice to cook properly generate more heat to steam the rice up and remember avoid you see i did not stir it again so avoid turning if not by the time you start turning it uh, after this time it will get burned so you see i didn't turn it again now i'm going to reduce the heat so you reduce the heat to the minimum so it will now cook with uh, the steam it will, the vapor will now cook the rice that's it okay let's see wow i think it's ready now let's do how we taste mm. it's good it's well cooked now now we have to turn it i have to turn it and now turn you see then now we add I drop one onion the onion so I will stick in there yes. this final stage you add one chop onion then here comes the butter. Here I'm adding 250 grams of butter because I add it at the final stage. Some people do add it at the initial stage, but if you add it this way, you get the real result because the rice will be very delicious. And we now have to cover it again for five minutes. For the onion and the butter to get melted in, and that should be top. Okay, meanwhile, while I was waiting for the rice to cook, I was slowly frying the chicken, and this is the last, last batch of it. I'll finish frying this now. The chicken has been fried and let's see the outcome of the butter wow it's melted the butter has melted in then i have to turn it i have to turn it properly How I make HBC jollof rice. It's very yummy. It's cooked now. And I put off the heat. That's it. Please comment below what you would like me to cook next. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also press the notification bell so that anytime I upload any other video, you will be among the number one persons to be notified. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.